Hi, um, we're going to be making a anemometer because there is a big storm coming and we want to know how fast the wind is going. So you'll need scissors, hot glue gun, some wire. Um, this you could take like a metal thingy or a wooden skewer would work and then a piece of round plastic and a little motor. So you start off by, oh, and also you can all um, use a meter. So uh, then the first thing is to cut around the edge of this. Okay, now we're going to make this cone shape. So, it should look like this. And, um, so now I made this one before. So what you want to do is overlap it so it has the same angle. So Hold it really tight because it'll just come undone like that. So it should end up looking something like this. Okay, so now you're going to glue this onto here. So you want them to be completely opposite. <laughs> Hot. Okay, now it's drying. Okay, so now we're going to glue this on this side to a motor. You can find motors in little fans like this. There's a motor here. This is from, uh, this could be like an electric toothbrush also. Um, but there's a fan in here, but this we had just lying around. We want it really in the middle, exactly. So you can take just a can of food or something and um, make sure it's balanced and then mark it with a pen. Okay. Now that's pretty much straight. So now I'm going to glue this down to the motor. Okay, so now the head of your anemometer is done. This is a piece that will be going outside. Um, so now we'll test it, see if it spins. That's pretty good. Okay, now you'll find the I don't tell me what they're called. terminal. Start over. Um, ours are right here on this motor. And so now you take your meter. Um, you can get these online or at Radio Shack for like seven or eight dollars. Um, so you hook or put them in the terminals. Okay, so now for the fun part. You yeah, hooked it up, and now we'll see if the um, voltage meter is working, and if it'll show you. See, this will be going up. See? It's like at 100, 120, around there. And the wind will be doing this, so you won't you know, use your fingers or anything. That's what we're making it for. Okay. You're also going to need just a simple soldering iron, soldering iron, however you want to it. And wire strippers are good too. So now we're going to take our wire. Um, this is longer because I want it to reach outside. Um, so we're going to strip and solder them with this soldering iron. Okay, now on to the soldering part. Now we're going to put some on the 
terminals. Once you've pinned the motor terminals and the wires, you're ready to attach them. This is not the best um, soldering, soldering iron, so just to warn you about that. <laughs> Now for the second. Okay, so um, I forgot to fill the little holes in here, um, so I'm going to do that with a hot glue gun. This is what we're going to be using. Um, I'm going to put it on here so we can just clamp it to a deck or something. Okay, so now I glued the head of the, um, and, uh, whatever we're making. <laughs> and now I'm going to glue down this wire so if it gets pulled, it won't pull on these. Look a little messy, but sometimes messy is good. Okay, now this is what's going to go on to the um, meter. Okay, so I'll just put that wrapped around in it again. Sorry about that. Keep on going. Okay, so now it's at zero and we're trying it out with a hair dryer. Okay. See how the meter is going up? And it's going faster. And now it's time to put it outside. So we have a hurricane coming, so we put all our chairs down and stuff. And I'm just going to put it on the edge. Make sure it doesn't hit. Okay. And it's ready for action. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to actually test this out. I'm putting a Velcro here so we can see the um, meter and just have it there. Good? Okay, not good. Now I'm taking the actual anemometer. Inky, watch out! Okay. We couldn't really figure out how to keep this on, so we sort of made this spongy thingy. Um, you're definitely not going to have to do this if you have more of a sturdier thing to put it on. Um, but this was just our go-to thing. So... Okay, now you're all done. You have your very own anemometer in your front, back, side yard. Pretty cool.